Hey everyone, um, today's date is April 24th, 2020, and I really wanted to make this video for any athlete out there who might be struggling during this time. Um, maybe you got your season taken away from you, or you may not ever get to play competitively again, or maybe maybe you're just sick of doing home workouts and you'd much rather be at a gym or maybe you'd rather be working out with friends um i just first of all i just i just want to say i'm sorry i know what it's like to have your season taken away from you and it sucks i play uh, soccer uh, for huntington university and I had my season taken away from me last semester when I tore my ACL in the first, um, or yeah, in the first five minutes that I was in um, during a preseason scrimmage. And honestly, <laughs> it was really, really hard because I remember thinking, <laughs> I put in all this work and yet I don't get to play. This isn't fair. I don't understand. And so maybe some of you guys are experiencing that right now. And my encouragement to you guys is to keep going and to keep working hard at the sport that you love because it will pay off. I remember, I remember when I tore my ACL and I had to do recovery and rehab um, for my, for my knee and I remember thinking this is going to be such a long recovery. This is not fun. This is not, this is not fair. But yet I knew that if I put in the work today, it will pay off in the future. And so for those of you athletes who do get to play again, uh, especially for those that are playing in the fall, I just encourage you guys to put in the work now. Um, our, our coach actually reminded me or reminded our team of reverse yesterday when we had a, a meeting and he reminded us of our team verse, which is Colossians 3.23. And that says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as though you're working for the Lord and not for people. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that verse. And for those of you who might not ever get to play competitively again. I don't know what that's like, but one of my friends named Joelle Beals had her spring season taken away from her um, during her senior year of college. And so she's gonna share a little bit um, with you guys of what that experience was like for her. Hi, my name's Joelle Beals. I am a senior at Huntington um, and I'm on the softball team. Um, and this season, my last season, got cut short because of the coronavirus, which sucks a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so the story of how I found out, I was sitting in the car with my fiancé during his lunch break, and we were just eating lunch. I'm pretty sure it was like, it was like sandwiches or something. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we were just eating, and I get this message from one of the girls on my softball team, um, that just says I love you guys and when I saw that I was like oh no like is it over is that what this message is about and then sure enough someone sent another message and it was just a Twitter post from the NAIA basically saying that um, the season was over and that was sucked it was so hard i cried the entire rest of matt's lunch break the entire rest of the day pretty much um because this game that i've played and loved for 13 years of my life is over it just ended um like when i found out it was over i had already played my last game um there wasn't that expected ending that comes with closure uh, it just was over forever, at least in my competitive um, career. So that was a big bummer. Um, 
Yeah, it's like I was mad. I was so mad that I didn't really understand the coronavirus at that time. I just thought it was a bunch of money and political and all this stuff. So I was like, I was so mad that my game had been stopped. Um, and throughout the rest of that day, the Lord just brought a couple songs um, onto my playlist, <laughs> which just taught me so much about they taught me about what I'm promised and what I'm not promised. Um, and what I'm promised is love from Jesus and forgiveness for my sins um, and peace that passes understanding. But what I'm not promised is another softball game. What I'm not promised is um, another breath, another day of life. Um, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow that I wasn't promised those things. But it just reminded me to cherish what I do have and cherish um, those moments when I am doing something I love because you don't know if it's going to be your last time. Um, so that's just what I learned through the coronavirus. Um, and I hope that it rings true to you guys too and it brings hope to someone. Just cherish what you have.